Hi, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Hey, Nicole, how are you? I am doing amazing. Great to be here with you, of course. Exactly. It's great to be here with you. I haven't seen you in so long. <laughs> I know. Make them believers. <laughs> So welcome everybody on Facebook. Hello, everybody who's going to watch the replay. I'm Natasha T. Brown, and I'm here with my friend, Nicole Ford. Hey, Nicole. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. So we have something super special happening um, this weekend. Before we start to talk about it, I'll just introduce myself and then I'll ask Nicole to introduce herself. So um, you guys are, you may be watching on my page or Nicole's page, I'm not sure, but I am Natasha T. Brown and I am the CEO of Elohi International Publishing and Media. I love helping people share their stories, um, really just getting stories out to the world. But this summer, the Lord put something really special on my heart to do which is to work with young people. So yeah. I called some of my really awesome friends and uh, one of them is Nicole Ford. She's just creative. She's a creative genius. And I'll let her introduce herself and then we'll talk about what we have going on starting on Saturday. Hey, Nicole. Hello. Well, hello, everyone. I am Nicole Ford of Nicole Ford Marketing. I'm right here in the Maryland area. I am a website designer helping bring everyone's dreams true, bringing them to the internet, making things look amazing. So that is what I do. I'm a website designer. I have an IT background and I just love creating on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does create some really um, amazing brands. And it's so funny because I met Nicole in 2017, Nicole, and she also has an amazing sister named Natasha. And they had a, a really amazing um, blog, but they were in a program that myself and my friend Caressa did called Make Them Believers Academy. Yes where we worked with believers in business and we had a retreat. And so it's so funny because now we're seeing so many of the uh, people who were in the, that retreat with us um, coming out with things. And so like, you know, Sharita, Nicole, yes. I didn't know Sharita Woodward, she was in there with us and yes. she just released her book. And Nicole has launched her business, Nicole Ford Marketing. And um, even Caressa has started a new business. And, you know, I've started a new business since then. And so uh, we're collaborating with some amazing women in business, particularly women who were in this particular retreat. But uh, Nicole and I are here because we are doing a youth website design camp starting yes. on Saturday. So Nicole, let's talk about this uh, camp that we are going to be working on. Let's talk about it. I'm super excited to just be with the young people and be able to teach website design. Like I did my first website when I was 12. Honestly, when no one really cared about probably designing websites but I just loved it I love coding even when you think about like back then you know when people had MySpace even if it wasn't like a dot com you could do different codings you could do the different um, transitions and backgrounds so this website design class is so amazing because if you're creative if you have a business I mean you have to be able to sell it I mean you can't tell people to dropping your DMs forever. I mean, right. you have to be able to have a, to be able to streamline it, you know? So I'm excited. Um, just expect to learn some amazing things from the layout to colors to font. How do you do it? I mean, when you see these major companies with websites, we're going to do that. Click here. You're going to do that. We can do that. That's what they're going to come out of this class learning to be able to really design a website and make it into a business and actually hear ching. Like I have clients now, ching. <laughs> That's what you want to hear. <laughs> And you know what's so awesome? So I just want to make sure that we're clear. So this, um, oh, sorry, I'm starting a different watch party and they are making noise. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm really clear because, you know, we're working with young people ages 10 to 17. Um, although, you know, this week, so this week, Nicole, I've been doing this youth book writing and publishing camp. Mm -hmm. And um, we put out there that, you know, we wanted the, the participants to be 
10 to 17, but we actually have an eight year old and we have a nine year old and they are just so advanced at this age. So I just want to say like, if you have a young person, even if they aren't yet 10 years old yet, or if they're over 17 and they want to learn website design, and we're going to get into actually what we're going to be doing for the next two weeks. But if they're more, if they're advanced, if they're technology savvy, and if they want to start businesses, um, that is something that we're really, really trying to do with this camp. It's not just about design designing a website, but it's about turning young dreamers, potential and future entrepreneurs into doers, really helping them execute, launch those ideas that are in yes, their heads absolutely. and um, start these online companies. And so we're working with young people. I we, we put out there that it's ages 10 to 17. But again, mm -hmm. if you have um, some people in that area, if you have a child or niece or nephew in that age range and you want mm -hmm. them to get involved, go ahead and click the link that we put in this video um, sort of description and um, sign them up. It's very affordable. It is two Saturdays. So we're going to be doing this Saturday and next Saturday. And let's talk about some of the things that they're going to be learning. Again, I want to point out that it is for, you know, young people who, who are visionary. So we're going to be teaching them, yes, website design, but it's also to help them even think about launching those online businesses. So what type of online businesses, um, Nicole, let's talk about that. What type of online businesses yeah. are you seeing these days with even the clients that you have been helping? Wow. Yes, lots of it. Um, lots of boutiques, people who want to sell clothing, um, different styles of clothing, uh, designers, people who actually customize their designs and they have unique pieces or different t-shirts, um, different things that they put on there. So some of it is where they may um, purchase bulk from somewhere or if they actually have, have like their own creations that they're selling. Um, I have individuals who are in the travel business, book authors. It's a wide range. Nonprofits. Nonprofits have been a big during this time right now. Nonprofits who want to really have um, their their nonprofit online and have an online presence because you know if you have something that's maybe on Instagram. Sometimes people may, is this real? Am I giving the money to the right person? Um, so I see a wide range of different businesses. Um, but I think any time that you want to sell and you have product, you have to think about the multiple ways that you can actually receive that income. And that is easy for people to find you. That's like a big thing right now where some people may have websites and they're dead. Like you can't understand why am I not getting traffic. So yes, website design is about having the creation and having the design, but also understanding there's some technical pieces for how people find you. You know, that's a big thing. When I Google, am I going to find you or am I going to get nothing? So those are the key things that they're going to learn when designing a website. Where do I put this information? How do they find me on Google? You know, so those are those are some key things that are real important. Yeah, and um, I like that because you you do do a lot with SEO work. You don't just design yes. pretty websites, but you do help people really get their search engine optimization up, right? Yes, and it works. I'm telling you, it works. <laughs> yeah, so um, starting this Saturday, we start at 10 o'clock um, this Saturday and next yes. Saturday, right? And so we're going to be helping them build. So the, our participants, our young, you know, designers, web entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, um, they're 10 to 17, or again, we're just going to be a little bit lenient with the age group because I'm finding in our camps that we're doing with young people this week that sometimes the eight-year-olds, the nine-year-olds, they actually get it. You know what I mean? And so yes. um, mm -hmm. we're gonna, they're actually going to be building websites with us. So we're going to be yes. uh, building the websites out. I'm going to be helping them with terms of like what to put on it. So how to put like write their copy for their website. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to talk to them about, like, help them actually build it out. Um, yeah. I want to talk about some of the websites, um, the, some of the ideas that I've been getting from young people, uh, creative mm -hmm. ideas. So yes. I've been uh, working with a lot of young people this summer. We did a VBS last week. We have the camp this week. And I've been with my nieces and nephews as well. And so I'm seeing some young producers, like music producers. Okay, yes. I'm seeing that, and that's really exciting me. Of course, the young authors who are about to, you know, publish in our authors camp, in our book writing camp, we also have some 
illustrators and some people who can draw, some young people who can draw. And they actually want to make businesses um, out of that, mm. like drawing things for their friends and cards and things like that. I'm also seeing some young people who like animals and who want to do things like dog sitting and, um, you know, dog walking and wow. bathing animals. And I am seeing, what else um, did I see? Oh, a lot of young people with baking businesses or lemonade stands and juice stands and smoothies. Mm. So I don't know if it's COVID or what, but I'm just seeing so much creativity <sighs> coming out. And it's not just with the adults, it's also with our kids. So oh, I just want to encourage any wow. parents who are watching, <gasps> like ask Yes. what are your ideas what are your dreams what do you want to put into this earth and if they do have a business that can be monetized or even a hobby that can turn into a business register them for this camp because we want to yes. help you exactly that <laughs> wow that was so inspired i mean i am inspired i think my <laughs> It just was, whoa, that is so amazing because when I hear that, I'm like, oh, wow. Like you, when somebody comes to your business, you want it to be an easy flow for them to order, right? So if they're ordering those canvases for special illustrations or they have to put in an order for food, if you're doing prepare food or if you're baking, how do you do that? How do they select it? How do you get the order? How do you process the order? They're going to learn. I mean, all of that. If you have an idea this is where your child needs to be. <laughs> That's what I do know. And it's like, I almost, after we started, after we started wow. marketing and we called it like youth website design camp, I'm like, you know what? We should have kind of like tweaked the title a little bit because it's really more so about helping them yeah. envision what's possible for the future bring it to life and then monetize it immediately with an online business. Ah, you're such a blessing because- <laughs> You, I'm excited to work with you though on this, Nicole, because you're a blessing too. You're going to be helping them bring these uh, to life in terms of websites. So thank you. That's, those are amazing ideas. I cannot wait until Saturday. Come on, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So I, I don't know what our young people that we're going to be working with are going to be building with us, but I'm super excited because, you know, we have... Um, we have three more spaces left, Nicole. Three more spaces. Oh, oh man. Yeah. So three more. And so I just think that we need to, you know, whoever wants to sign up needs to register. And again, go to- Yeah, don't, don't wait on this. <laughs> don't, wait. don't wait. Cause it's going to be so good. We have three more spots um, available. You can click the link in my bio or click the link in this broadcast. Um, our website is Elohai, E-L-O-H-A-I and then I-N-T-L dot com. And you can just look at the events and click on Youth Website Design Camp and um, you'll see the information there. It's super affordable. You can even sponsor some kids if you know some. It's, it's at the rate where you can even sponsor other kids to um, participate. But again, it's not just about designing. It's not just about websites, but it's really about getting them to imagine what it is that they want to do, how they want to contribute to the earth, what it is that they love to do, and then helping them execute it and bring it to life. And it's like, it's like no better time than now, right? No better time than right now. What do you, what do you, it's, it's not that hard. What is that? There's nothing to wait for, like now. <laughs> Nicole, so as a website designer, what would you say to people like parents who might be watching and they might be doubting, like saying, you know what, my child wouldn't be able to design a website or maybe my child isn't interested in designing a website. Why should they continue to even show this to their child, even talk to them about their dreams and sign them up for this camp on Saturday and next You know, week? because it, it involves a lot of different things, anywhere from just the art piece of things. If, you know, I would think like, oh, I'm not an artist. I don't necessarily draw, but you know, there's different ways that you put shapes and you put colors online. So, it encompasses all of that, even from the technical side. So you can do the website design class and you realize like, wait, I actually really like coding or I really like the IT side of things. If there are some other aspects that I can go into um, when it comes to the technical Nicole. piece, you know, yes. 
Okay, you went out for a second. <laughs> yeah, so I was just saying there's just different aspects that you can take from it, whether it's art or whether it's IT. I think a parent should sign up because you'll be able to see the different parts of it that your child likes. Some may not necessarily like the coding piece, but maybe they like technical aspects of design. You know, it's way more than just um, designing the website, but it takes a lot of planning project management. I look at it as it's all encompassing and it's a lot of different pieces that a parent can take from it and can see what their child likes or dislikes. You know, I think those are some of the things you start to see what do they gravitate more to. Yeah. And I think if this will allow them that opportunity to see that. Yeah. And you know what? I think um, when we talk sometimes when we talk about youth and businesses and Mm -hmm. and things like that, I think people might be like, okay, well, my child has never told me that they want to, you know, do a business or start a business. But also I would just encourage you to ask your, your children, like, what are your hobbies? And to, you know, your children to even think like, what, what do they like to do? Because a hobby, oftentimes it turns into a business, right? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. (laughs) And I think you so you noticed that. Well, you you have an IT background, but you started mm-hmm. off just doing something that you love on the internet. That's all. I mean, that's really all it was. Just kind of setting it up, and I was like, "Wait, more people are asking. Wait, more people really need this." And I didn't I, I didn't realize that a lot of people didn't know how. Even though for me it comes second nature, I was like, "Wow." I could actually turn this into something. And I really did. And working with people who are new in business and they're learning. And it was just a great opportunity. It really was one of those things that just kind of turned into that. Because even when we did Make Them Believers, I did my sister and I's website. And I remember you and Crystal looking at like, wow, you did that? It's like, well, and you yeah, did like you weekend. know you all did it you yes. did the website over the weekend and that's what that's mm-hmm. what I love to do like I think that all like programs should be hands-on if you're going to do an online class if you're going to do an online retreat or anything like that even our camps yes. is deep. like so these are camps for kids guys that we're talking about I'll do a reset in a second so if you just joined I'll tell you what we're talking about in a moment but let me finish this sentence if you're going to do something online I believe that it needs to be very practical and so I think that's the teacher mm-hmm. in me And so, um, again, we're talking about the Youth Website Design Camp, and it starts on Saturday, this Saturday. Um, Myself and Nicole are teaching it, but it's a Youth Website Design Camp for young people ages 10 to 17. If you have someone a little bit younger or a little bit older, and they want to learn how to build websites, and primarily if they have ideas, dreams, um, hobbies, Mm -hmm. business uh, thoughts in their head, if they want to be an author, whatever it is that they want to do, where we want to help them. Um, build a platform to monetize that and to get their name out there to begin to build a brand even as a young person you're never too young you know they're never too young to begin um earning an income off of what they love to do if they love to bake cookies if they love to write books if they love to draw um create art paint you know we talked about it earlier but you know i've been meeting some young people who are dog sitters they love dogs they want to be veterinarians when they get older and so they want to right now they're dog sitting and they're walking dogs they're bathing dogs Mm -hmm. and grooming dogs okay and then so that could be a business you know i've seen young people who love to bake and who love to make smoothies or who like to make lemonade and sell lemonade they have a lemonade stand or even today one of the um young people who came into our um book writing camp nicole she has a company where she sells beads and you know waist beads Mm -hmm. and jewelry and earrings and Mm -hmm. clothing a lot of young people these days are sewing a lot of young people these days are uh, making music beats you know i have a nephew he's like 16 and he makes music and he sells beats and people are doing podcasts and creating videos as young people so we want to it's not just only about designing the website, <laughs> but it's about building an online space, an online platform yeah. to allow them to see their dreams come true, to see, to put their ideas into um, implementation and put it out for the world to kind of consume, right? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> exciting. It is exciting. It is exciting. <sighs> so um, what else? Um, I guess we can 
you can you know come to a close, Nicole. But what else would you like to say or to encourage yeah. to jump on board? Um, let's see. We're learning different platforms. You know, one that's one of the biggest things. Like, you know, if I get a new website, what platform should I use? What's the best platform? A lot of it has to do what the industry is. What industry are you going to build a website? to do what do you want it to do is really determine what platform so we'll kind of look at different platforms how do you decide which one to go with um we'll learn some of those different codings like i talked about how to make it do certain things that you see whenever you go to any mainstream uh website so this is going to be great this is i mean with only three spaces left what are folks waiting for go ahead online click click <laughs> yeah so there's three spaces left. We're almost filled. We actually extended the capacity for this camp. So we actually filled up one time and we just opened five more spaces um, just because of uh, the, just the feedback. And so mm -hmm. we opened a few more spaces. We have three more spaces left and we'll close res registration soon. As soon as we hit that number, we're closing registration. If um, whatever comes first, that or we're going to be closing on Friday. So get registered. Don't yes. wait. Um, visit our website, elohaiintl.com. That's E-L-O-H-A-I-I-N-T-L.com. -E um, go to my page on Facebook and it has the actual website in there to do a direct booking. So you can, wherever, you know, if you see this video in a watch party or something, just click on my profile um, and you can look at this video and go ahead and click on that link, register, um, you won't be disappointed. Your young person won't be disappointed. And me and Nicole can't wait to meet you all on Saturday. Yes, indeed. July 18th. <laughs> July 18th, July 18th and 25th from 10 a.m. to noon Eastern Standard Time. We might go just a little bit past noon if um, depending on what they're working on. But um, those are our meeting, official meeting times. And then we're going to be uh, also having some workspaces for them to work on throughout the week. So they'll have actual instructions they're building throughout the week. And um, we're gonna com come back together on our second Saturday and look at their websites, critique them, help them build them out and also teach them a second platform. Yes. So we want you all to get your young people registered, um, your young dreamers, your young business uh, creatives, your, you know, your young writers, whatever they do, whatever they like to do, we wanna help them put this out into the actual uh, World Wide Web and uh, begin to make some money off of it. Yes, indeed. They will come out of this camp with a website. I yeah. can guarantee you that they will have one. <laughs> they will have one. So um, yes, congratulations to your child or niece or nephew or best friend's child in advance. In and advance. I'm excited to work with them. <laughs> All right, Nicole. Well, thank you so much for stopping by thank and you. in my Zoom room and uh, talking about this camp. Absolutely. Anytime. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>